On this beautiful and sunny day, The Adam Project is coming out on Netflix, their latest blockbuster, and they claim it's the best Netflix movie ever. Well, we'll be the judge of that. But it inspired us to create this awesome dogfight effect and a wormhole effect, which we are creating today. This week is like crazy guys. I'm trying to finish a short film that we shot a couple of weeks back and if you haven't noticed yet, well then definitely follow us on Instagram because we did post all of the behind the scenes. Check the link in the description down below. Basically this is a huge project and the deadline is due for Monday so I won't be joining much in this week for copycat because I got other things to do. Luckily, I got a little mascot right here. It's Lucky. Got two mascots now. <laughs> and now back to Lorenzo. And Jordy's not the only one working on a different video. I am currently melting some sugar. Give me some sugar, baby. For next week's video. The only problem is since I'm melting this, I need to constantly check it so it doesn't burn. So I'm working from a laptop this week. And this is the Creator Z16 from MSI, which has the latest Intel processor, which is perfect for us since we work with software which highly relies on processor performance. Next to this, it also has the latest NVIDIA RDX 3060 graphics cards. And together it ensures you can render and edit up to 8K HD raw video and it perfectly runs 3D softwares. MSI also has the Creator Studio which is an AI which will boost the performance making sure you get the best out of this laptop. It also has the latest wireless technology Wi-Fi 6E which makes it super fast for me to connect to our server and get the assets I need on this laptop. Currently I'm working up the battery which has a 90 watt hour battery life or you can use the Thunderbolt 4 connection which supports PD charging which is by the way super fast. Now, to be more specific, I'm recreating the dogfight scene that you can see in the trailer. And all I did in Unreal was just keyframe the spaceship and the camera so you can have this epic dogfight scene. And to finish it off in After Effects, I added some gunshots and impact like you can see right here, which blends it all together. Now guys, definitely check the link down below because you can get $600 off at this moment off the Z16 and $500 off the Z16 limited edition. So go check it out. And by the way guys, MSI won this year's the PC Reader's Choice Award 2022 for best overall satisfaction laptop. So more than enough reasons to get one of these. Oh, by the way guys, let me know in the comments down below what kind of genre of short film you would like to see next. We're currently making a sci-fi Again, because that's my favorite genre. But definitely let me know. Maybe that's action or comedy that you would like to see next. And we'll definitely keep that in account. Now for the footage, it's quite simple. You can use real sky footage or you can make it yourself in Unreal. And now that we have our footage, we can start creating our wormhole in After Effects. Our first step will be creating a new solid layer and we made it a big square. Then we are going to stack it with a bunch of effects. First a fractal noise effect, which we stretched in the width property and gave a simple offset animation. Of course we added a fast box blur to remove the sharp edges. With a tint we gave it its yellowy color and then the most important effect, CC sphere. This will spherize our solid, but of course you need to tweak the settings a little bit. The most important setting is that we adjust the render property to inside and rotate the sphere to the opposite direction your wormhole is opening. For us this is in a slightly tilted right angle so our center point of the sphere is pointing downwards and to the side. However we don't actually need our entire sphere. So let's create an ellipse shape, make it 3D, rotate it and place it over our circle. This shape we are going to use as a track mat. And voila! Our circle is cut out. To make the cutout more random, add a fastbox blur and a turbulent displays effect to the shape. And now we can start creating the details. First a general glow. Duplicate the shape layer and delete all the effects on it. Then set the blending mode to screen, add a fractal noise effect, a roughen edges, a tint and again a fastbox blur effect to our duplicate shape. Tweak every effect you are liking. Now a very important step, we removed the fill of the shape and gave it a stroke instead. The next step is an RGB glow. Just duplicate the glow layer we just made, remove the tint effect and pre-comp the duplicate layer. Then we just need to add an RGB and a light ray effect. We are going to use the ones from Red Giant. 
And voila, it's already looking good. Now when creating visual effects, I want enough room on my screen for all the different tabs. And luckily, the MSI created C16 has a 16 by 10 ratio, making my workflow on this laptop super comfortable. Now of course, the quality of the display is also super important when working with video. Every detail and every color tint needs to be visible. And with the MSI True Pixel display, you can experience all of that. The display is Quad HD Plus and covers 100% of the DCI P3 color profile, meaning you get a movie industry quality level display. Wow. And personally, one of the features I like the most is the beautiful unibody design completely in aluminium, making it a perfect balance of performance and design. Oh yeah. I can't forget their mini LED RGB keyboard, which they claim is the world's first. Because who doesn't like RGB lights? Now enough yapping over this beautiful laptop, let's create our own RGB stuff. More specifically, a rainbow line. We are again going to duplicate our main shape layer. And again, we are going to remove the fill and gave it a stroke. But this time it can be a very small stroke and we also made it red. Now in our layer properties and under the content dropdown, we can find the ellipse options. We selected this and duplicated them three more times. Each duplicate we decreased in size and also made it a different color. And last we added a roughen edges to our rainbow line to smoosh it all together. Now one last detail is some distortion. On the adjustment layer we used a chromatic aberration effect and a displacement map effect. This will bring it all together. Then we finished it off with some color grading and a twirl in the clouds. And bada bim bada boom, you are done. However, we do have a quick tip for animating it. If you want to open and close a wormhole, just link all the wormhole assets to a simple null object. This null you can now animate with the scale and voila. Beep beep. I the mom. So that's how you create a dogfight in Unreal Engine and a wormhole in After Effects. Thank you so much for watching, I hope you learned something new, thank you MSI for the support and as always, stay creative. Now click this video right here to see some more awesome content, CLICK! <laughs>